station and yeah, it wasn't there at all, so we had to go to the next one. So we finally got on the bus and there's like maybe two or seven seats, that's all. So it's a very small bus and it should take around three hours to get there and it was 80,000 for the two of us. That's a peso, a clump of pesos. So yeah, just gonna show you around. So we're just gonna sit back now and relax. Good morning guys from a sunny day here in Jardine. So we just had our coffee from the hotel and we are leaving shortly now to go on a hike, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to a waterfall. It's called Cueva del Esplendor. And it's a very famous one to do here. It's got like a cave and then the water has eroded into it. So the water actually comes straight down into the water itself. So yeah, we actually can't wait to go to it. And it's roughly going to take about six hours to do. How'd you get here? So we need to leave now because we have to get breakfast as well. So let's go. So guys, we got our empanadas with rice and beef. And we got our smoothie as well, mango. So we're gonna eat this now and then hit the hike. <laughs> so guys, we just started the trail now. And if you download Maps Me, that's what we've downloaded. It's gonna bring you to the start just back there. You just leave the town center and then you come down these steps. And then there's like an old wooden bridge it doesn't look the safest, but once you get to here, you know you're on the right track. So in this video as well, we're gonna explain on how to get to this waterfall because you can go by yourself or you can get a tour group. So it really all depends on what you feel like doing. For us, we prefer nearly sometimes just to go by ourselves. You can kind of have more time to look around as well. So we're just gonna head now and then we'll keep you updated on the way. is this bridge. It looks very old, shaky. And, and it has a hole in the middle. <laughs> and it's very bouncy. And then you got like a big stream underneath, so yeah. I don't know. Guys, we just reached the top of the hill, and once you get to the top of the hill, you just have this gate. So when we got you here, <laughs> and that's our new friend. He's been that following name? us to the town. His name. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, so once you get to here, just keep going for another one. Come on. Come on, Don Niño. So we just came across a small snake, very baby snake, but it's dead. But yeah, it just shows you what's going to be around this kind of the countryside, we didn't know this. Just a baby one. Still has a big mouth though. Uh-huh. So yeah, I'm Look. just gonna pick it up. Hang on for a sec. Can you see it? Yeah. No. Even like its mouth is still open. Look the dead. So yeah, we should be a bit careful when we're going here. We didn't know that there was gonna be snakes around. So guys, we just came across this banana plantation and yeah, we've never seen this many bananas. Well, we haven't seen banana plants before. Agatha has in Brazil, but I haven't in Ireland, so I'll just show you. So where the blue plastic is, full of bananas. Really cool. It's like you're surrounded by them. So after that gruesome uphill, we finally made it to the next hill. 
So this is the next direction when you're coming by yourself or with others. You're gonna come along this house. And of course, the main thing you're gonna see is the statue. And then after that then, just straight on. Follow the mountain right in front of you. Guys, the next turn off is this just house over here. It looks like private property, but you can just walk up. And the name of it is El Paricio. So you just walk up here and it's just, it says private property, but it's fine, just keep walking. So on our way we had one dog following us halfway and ever since there's just so many dogs here but they're so friendly. Oh. <laughs> so, this so one friendly. is called Lola. It's a beautiful girling. Huh? We love dogs so it's nice to spend a bit of time with them. <laughs> So we finally next made it to the next stop, which is this yellow gate, and then we head just up this way. And then as I said, you've got them crosses there and they have the numbers as well. So I can't really get that lost. So we are just getting to our next stop now, is this yellow gate here. And there's no actually proper way to get to this part, apart from once you get to the gate, keep to your right and then keep coming down here and then you'll see the yellow gate and then it's, as far as we know then you walk all the way up to the top and there should be a house up there then So the next direction is first gate is just over there, it's a yellow gate then you walk to your right, keep going up here to the second gate, and that's yellow as well, they're all yellow. And then just work your way up here, keep coming up here, and then where Agatha is then, you just keep going straight up the hill. And then you should see like a bit of a timber here, and it should have like a pink kind of plastic on it. So once you get to there, you'll know that you're there. So we came this side of the other side, and it looked like a barricade, but just go around the corner, then the trail just carries on. And then just where Agatha is up there. And yeah, we're not that far off. The weather is starting to get a bit darker, rain's meant to be later. But as you can see, the sun is still beaming down, but it's nice when it's dark. Keeps the sun off us for a while. So guys, we were just walking. Just walking up here, Agatha was just up there. And then sure out and snakes, snakes, even snakes, snakes coming. I'm blind as a bat anyway, so I couldn't see anything. And then the snake was just coming here. And yeah, it was like a green one. That in the Amazon, we saw them. They were like a lot smaller. And the guy said in the survival that they're harmless. But this one was very, very long. It was very thin, but they are harmless. But yeah, it was just slithering all the way down here. And yeah, <laughs> bit of a panic going on because we weren't sure first. But yeah. Um, God knows what you're going to see here, especially in the jungle, you have to be a bit careful as well, so just to let you know. <laughs> Guys, we made it. Yeah. I'm only joking. So the house is just a bit further up. And then as far as we know that you pay them money and then they bring you to the uh, waterfall and the cave and they give you water as well so we just have to go through this gate here and then spend another five minutes to the house so we'll let you know then what's happening came up here then as far as we know this is the house up here um, not sure if it is 100% but we think it is. Doesn't look like there's anyone living there but we're gonna find out now in a minute. 
we're just going up the road to it so I'll let you know so we just found out it wasn't that house so definitely download maps me because it will bring you on the right way so it's telling us to bypass the house make our way down here but we are eventually going to come to a house that's going to guide us to the cave so we'll let you know So guys, after that house, um, you really need to know how if your maps me, and it's going to bring you. Just keep an eye on it, and then once you're getting close to the water, you're going to hear it. You're going to walk all the way down here. Then you're going to get to this bridge, which isn't very steady at all, and I think we're very close to it now. So as I say, just download maps me, and it's going to bring you to it. It may take a bit longer. But you'll get there. So guys, we finally made it to the actual house. And it's more like just a restaurant. And then we've got, this is where all the tour groups come. And then you pay the money here and the tour guide then brings you the rest away. Because it must be dangerous enough to go. So yeah, we're just waiting for the next crowd as well to go. And then we're ready to go and we can't wait. It's been a few hours, so we're looking forward to cool down. Just getting to the first waterfall. I'll we'll just show you now. Then it goes all the way down there as well. Pretty cool. So we finally did it. We finally got to see the beautiful waterfall, yeah. and it was amazing, wasn't it? Oh, yes, lovely. So we went for a swim there as well. And yeah, it was only two of us at the end. It was another group, yeah. but they left, so they were waiting for us. You have to to go down with the tour guide once you get to the house. So we had to wait for the other group that was there waiting as well. But they didn't do they anything there, just took photographs, and they wanted to leave. So it was just me and Steven there. So we spent maybe about five minutes there by ourselves yeah. in the water. 
So yeah, it, it was cold, but I think once you're in it, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, after the hike as well. And yeah, we had a big hike to do, so we have another hike to do now to go back as well. Yeah. So it's two and a half hours. Two and a half. And it's all downhill this time, so it's even better. So yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> really, really good. Really worth it, yeah. So this is the end of this video. Yeah, just before we finish the video, we just met a couple that they came with the tuk-tuk from the Jardim town. They took uh, tuk tuk halfway and they had to hike another one hour and a half. We came all the way hiking, so if you don't want to go yeah. hiking all the way, you just find a way to go to the tuk tuk and hike the other side. It's a lot easier as well. Yeah. Because we've also noticed this trail that we're doing, it's very muddy. So yeah. I'm not sure how safe it is, especially with the tropical downstorms yeah. they have. If it's raining like a day before, uh, or the day you think it's going to rain. Or if it's going to rain when you're doing it. Yeah, don't it's, do uh, it. The rain here in Colombia is very bad, so we wouldn't advise. But well, we have seen cool stuff doing this trail as yeah. well though. We've seen a monkey, it, yeah. snake, two snakes. <laughs> two snakes. <laughs>